Welcome to Latest World News. Violent storms and flooding have hit southeastern France, killing at least 16 people with three more missing, officials say. Three elderly people drowned when their retirement home near the city of Ennepes was inundated with flood water. Others died trapped in their cars in tunnels and underground car parks as the waters rose. French President Francois Hollande announced a state of natural disaster in the affected region. He thanked rescuers and expressed the solidarity of the nation. Mr. Holland offered condolences as he visited the retirement home in the town of Biot and urged residents in the region to remain cautious, saying, it's not over. Heavy rain hit the French Riviera, which lies on the Mediterranean coast and borders Italy, on Saturday evening. The city of Nice is estimated to have received 10% of its average yearly rainfall in two days alone. The river break burst its banks, sending water coursing into nearby towns and cities. Social media pictures showed water gushing down the streets of Cannes. Cannes resident Katja Hyams Toenerva told the BBC, It was terrifying. We wanted to go out but decided not to as the rain was unbelievably heavy. The level of water was rising very quickly. Cannes Mayor Davis Lisnard said, Some cars were carried off into the sea. We have rescued a lot of people and we must now be vigilant against looting. Eric Chody, president of the Alps Maritimes Department, tweeted, We have lived through an apocalyptic situation that we have never experienced before. The main motorway through the area has been closed, trains halted and hundreds of tourists sought shelter at Nice Airport overnight. About 27,000 homes are without power. Some concertgoers attending a show by French rock legend Johnny Halliday at a venue in Nice had to sleep overnight there after becoming stranded.